What's good, y'all? Today, we are on Next Gen with it. And as you can see, we are drip from head to toe. But we're not worried about the drip today. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my demigod two-way threat. I don't know why I zoomed in. I'm trying to zoom out. Two-way threat build. Now, we're not too crazy of a level. Most people out here wearing the 2K day drip. But nah, I said, you know what? I'm, I'm going to look good to play good, you know? Now, this build has a total of 109 badges. Editing Zach here. I actually only have 102 badges. And for the rest of the video, I'm going to say 109. I don't know what I was on. I was just some, on some stupid shit. So don't flay me, please. Now, this is the first year I've actually made a really good guard build at like the beginning of the year. I've had a couple guard builds in the past, but I've never really had one this crazy. This build, like I said, is really a demigod, 109 badges. We get contact dunks, we can dribble, we can shoot. We have lockdown defense, hence the two-way in our name. We're really fast. And overall, this build is probably one of the best builds in the game. And I have not seen anybody on YouTube with the two-way threat build. So I'm very excited to show you. But before we get in the build, I just want to say one thing real quick. If y'all want to see this build in action, in some gameplay, make sure y'all go crazy on this video. I want to know that you guys actually want to see some gameplay on this build. I definitely got y'all. And maybe I'll double upload. I'll post it on the same day. You know what I'm saying? But guys, we're getting really close to this 19K. 20K is right around the corner, bro. The goal is 20K. And we're going to hit 20K very, very soon, man. Help me hit that before the end of the month. Y'all are going crazy. I really appreciate all the support recently. But with all that being said, man, let's get straight into the two-way threat build on nba 2k 22 next gen let's get it now that we're in the builder let's get straight to business i'm not gonna waste too much of y'all time first name pinky last name game you know represent the pinky game around here position now i spent a lot of time deciding which position was better point guard or shooting guard i ultimately went with point guard i just went over the badges you get a little bit more badges and it fits my play style a little bit better if this build doesn't ultimately work for you as well as it works for me that's okay that's fine i just thought i found a really really good build that personally fits my play style a lot and has a unique name so i want to share it with y'all hand is lefty doesn't really matter i just am doing my irl stuff with i like irl i was jersey number 20 and i'm a lefty irl and i just prefer shooting with my players left-handed boom 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 you already know now for the height like i said this build is going to be a speed demon on the court so we want to be a little bit smaller and i just want to have a fun build that gets contact dunks he's just rising up there like crazy and he's a little tiny guard i just wanted a midget slasher type of build and that's kind of what i was going for so i went six foot one and we want to drop the weight all the way down to get as much speed as possible and we're gonna go up three because we don't lose any speed and there's no reason not to go here uh, we also get some uh perimeter defense as well and we do want that perimeter defense to go forward with the build just so we have a little bit more you know to work with on the perimeter we're trying to get that two-way name get some defensive stops we're not trying to be a defensive liability because we are shorter we want to lock people up in the perimeter now for the wingspan we want to max this out at six foot ten body shape it really doesn't matter i believe i went with builds i'm pretty sure i'm not 100 sure but the body shape really doesn't matter it's not gonna affect the gameplay whatsoever now this build has some very precise attributes that you have to get right so if you don't know what you're doing follow along and then maybe we can tweak some things at the end but you basically have to follow what i'm doing or you're not gonna get the same build name and all that stuff so for the finishing you want to get your close shot to a 58 right here boom that gives us one badge for our driver light we're gonna get this to a 86 boom and then we're gonna get our driving dunk not max we're gonna go right here get this actually to a 92 because you only really need 92 that unlocks all the contact dunk packages and just like that bam we got 24 finishing badges which is absolutely insane on a little tiny build we didn't even put that much into our player we're only at 47 overall so we get a lot more attributes like i said this build gets 109 badges which is absolutely insane it's kind of crazy that on 21 next gen that the badge count was so much different like this has 109 badges and on next gen 21 you had like maybe 50 badges i'm really happy with what they did with the builder this year they really nailed it i'm not gonna lie pause maybe i don't know but there's a huge variety of builds and i really like to see that in the park so not everybody's running the same lineup I and mean, you can kind of feel special when you dominate your own little personalized build for the shooting what we want to do we're going to max out our midi and our three-pointer and that's it and just like that 29 shooting badges one thing about this game if you don't know uh free throw doesn't affect your shooting badges whatsoever it's just kind of there and doesn't give you any badges as well so just a little side note but look bro off the rip that's a lot of badges man we're still only at 64 overall now the playmaking this is where it kind of gets expensive in the attribute side of the game we want to get our passing accuracy to an 80 right here i uh, actually gotta drop that boom and we're gonna max it our ball handle and our speed with ball and now we do get 31 but there's no reason to go above an 86 ball handle because you get all the moves you need 
at an 86. We already have the speed with ball. That's not tied in with the ball handle. So we're still going to dribble fast with this build. So we're going to drop this down right here. Still get 30 playmaking badges. We only drop one. And this gives us a lot more attribute points to work with when it comes to the defense and the physicals. So that's why we're going to do it that way. Now for our defense, we're going to max our perimeter defense. We're going to get our steal to an 86 right here. Now for our block, we're going to get this to a 57, get one more defensive badge. And I'm just really curious. I'm not going to lie to see what we can do with this type of rating. I want to get some chase downs. I'm only six foot one. I just think it'd be hilarious to chase people down with this build. Now for the rest of the attributes, as you guys can see, we are only a 94 overall. So we're going to max out our speed and we're going to put the remaining attributes on our vertical, giving us an 85 and check this out, bro. 24 finishing badges. 29 shooting badges 30 playmaking and 19 defensive badges one thing you guys might not be too happy about is that the acceleration is a little bit lower and the reason i did that we still get hall of fame quick first step so that's really not going to affect our acceleration as long as we have that badge on bro we have nearly max physicals with 109 badges that is absolutely insane i didn't think this was even possible to get on a point guard build but check this out bro takeovers i went with finishing moves right here and then on my second takeover i went with limitless range but once you get your mama mentality badge i was really intrigued to get ankle breaking shots so i'm probably gonna switch these around boom boom but i really wanted to make this like a midget slasher type of feel i know 6-1 isn't a midget that's actually a very tall human average height but in terms of nba players y'all already know but i just went with limitless range right here just because i want to pull it from deep just confuse people and as you can see we have built the one, the only two-way threat build with shades of De'Aaron Fox, Muhammad Abdul Rauf, and John Wall. And yeah, man, that's basically it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this build, make sure y'all drop a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And yeah, man, that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed this build, make sure y'all drop a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. We're trying to hit 100K before the end of the year, and this is just a small step, and I really would appreciate your help. And yeah, man, that's it for me. Hope you have a great rest of your day. If y'all want some gameplay on this build, just let me know, and I got y'all, and I'm out. Have a good one. Peace.